In the diagnosis of male infertility, a number of test parameters are evaluated. A test for assessing the functional integrity of the sperm plasma membrane is one important measure. A functional plasma membrane is a primary requisite for the sperm cell or spermatozoa to fertilize the egg. It plays an integral role in sperm capacitation, acrosome reaction, and binding of the spermatozoan to the egg surface. The hypoosmotic swelling or HOS test evaluates the functional integrity of the sperm's plasma membrane and also serves as a useful indicator of the fertility potential of sperm cells. The HOS test predicts membrane integrity by determining the ability of the sperm membrane to maintain equilibrium between the sperm cell and its surrounding hypotonic liquid environment. When exposed to hypoosmotic stress, water and small molecular weight compounds and elements will attempt to enter into the sperm to reach osmotic equilibrium. This influx of the surrounding hypotonic fluid will increase sperm volume and the plasma membrane will bulge or balloon to achieve a minimum surface to volume ratio. The sperm tail appears to be particularly susceptible to such hypoosmotic stress and based on the vigor of the sperm cells, different patterns of tail swelling are observed. A higher percentage of swollen sperm cells indicate the presence of sperms having functional and intact plasma membrane. These induced changes to sperm tail morphology are visible when viewed under high power of the light microscope or better still using phase contrast microscopy. This ballooning effect is often referred to as swelling. It can be assumed that the ability of the sperm tail to swell in the presence of a hypoosmotic stress is a sign that transport of fluid across the membrane occurs normally, that is, a sign of both structural and functional integrity of the membrane, as opposed to only structural integrity of the cell membrane, which is the basis for the eosin Y exclusion in the vital staining test which have already been covered in a previous video. The hypoosmotic swelling test in addition to providing valuable information on sperm viability, is widely used to select sperm cells for intracytoplasmic sperm injection or ICSI in cases of asthenozoospermia. This video is going to be a detailed tutorial on the protocol for performing the HOS test and the interpretation of the test results. To perform the HOS test, we'll need the following. Liquefied semen sample. HOS reagent, 2 ml Eppendorf tube or any suitable vial with tight fitting cap, incubator set at 37 degrees Celsius, a 1 ml micropipette with pipette tips or two serological pipettes of 1 ml capacities, a dropper, a glass light and cover slip, a compound light microscope or a phase contrast microscope. To perform the HOS test, First, remove the HOS reagent from the refrigerator. Pipette out 1 ml of the reagent into the Eppendorf tube or vial. Incubate the tube at 37 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Next, remove the tube from the incubator. Add 0.1 ml of thoroughly mixed liquefied semen sample to the reagent in the tube and mix gently. Now, incubate the semen HOS solution mixture for at least 30 minutes but not longer than 3 to 4 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. At the end of 30 minutes or so, remove the tube from the incubator. Using a dropper or pipette, place a drop of the incubated mixture onto a microscope slide and cover the drop with cover slip, making sure to avoid the trapping of air bubbles. Next. Place the prepared slide onto the microscope stage and observe under 40x objective. Moving the slide from left to right and right to left as shown here, make a random count of at least 100 sperm cells, preferably up to 200 cells, with both swollen and normal tails. 
the type of swollen spermatozoans to be assessed should look like any of the sperm cells shown in this photo collage. Tip swelling is where the very tip of the tail is swollen and rest of the tail is normal. Hairpin swelling is where the tail swells at mid-piece and main-piece junction with or without tip swelling. Shortened and thickened tail is where the tail swells constricting the surface and causing shortening. Partly or completely enveloped sperm tail is where the tail balloons from swelling. Calculate the swollen sperm cells as a percentage of total sperm cells counted and report the result as percentage of swollen sperms. Based on the percentage of swollen sperm cells, the HOS test result of the semen sample is then interpreted as normal or abnormal based on the info given as shown here. Since only a single variable, that is membrane function, is measured, the results of the HOS test alone cannot be relied on. For example, the HOS test is normal, but some other semen analysis parameters may be abnormal. The HOS test solution should be clear. If you notice any turbidity, discard and prepare a fresh stock. For highly viscous specimens, the semen sample may be diluted with an equal amount of medium or forced in and out of a 3 ml syringe attached to an 18 gauge needle until the sample becomes more homogeneous. So this was all about the semen HOS test. If this video helped, do make sure to like and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more such educational videos. You may also consider joining me on Patreon or signing up for a YouTube membership to get exclusive access to members only perks and bonus resources. Thanks again for watching, see you soon with a brand new video.